In an age where your favorite franchises are increasingly co-opted by tourists who couldn't give a flying flip about anything outside their own ideology, there's one group of people working to bring you entertainment you can love. The Iron Age. It's not so much a movement as it is just a band of independent creators who want to tell stories their way for people who just want entertainment to be fun again. And if you're willing to give them a chance, they'd love to share their work with you. So this is... The Black Crown by John A. Douglas. And now this guy's pretty cool. If you're uh, familiar with the Iron Age scene, he's kind of all over the place. Uh, but basically, well, I don't have to say basically. I can just read you the synopsis here. The Crown Pantheon, authoritarian rulers of all spire, slaughtered the marauding arcs. Arcs? Oh, my God. I'm retarded. <laughs> Orcs. Orcs. Do I have your permission? <laughs> sure, go ahead. All righty. <laughs> Deserved. Anyways. <laughs> Slaughtered the marauding orcs by the tens of thousands and returned peace to the continent of Evergar Evergrad. God, some of these fantasy words, dude. Now I know how few people felt reading my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but among the many half-orc bastards left in the wake of the war, one was Prince Ragoth Brightsorn, son of the notorious warlord Thorgoth and Sarana, Queen of Nemaria, the sole human-ruled kingdom. After 17 years of isolation, Ragoth is cruelly forced out of his life of luxurious comfort and into exile on the eve of his royal crowning before he can receive his gilded mark, the magic sigil that, that proves his royal birth. Unable to prove who he is or return home, he embarks on a quest to search to reach his father's tribe, the Sunderfang, in the lawless wilds of Dreadmoor. This is already giving me like ridiculously like classic fantasy vibes by the way but this venture is not taken alone he earns the company of Cortland Lohelm a pugilistic human farm boy hell-bent on finding a legend to fill and Dennis a compassionate if helpless elvish goodwill worker to ensure a safe passage they acquire the services of Valmora a world weary veteran adventurer down on her luck Together, they cross the kingdoms of the Crown Pantheon with nefarious forces seemingly at every step. The Black Crown is a coming-of-age epic fantasy packed with the epic fantasy packed to the brim in an adventure, politics, intrigue, political intrigue. God, if I could learn to fucking read. Crown uh, family, vengeful dragons, dark ambition, and most of all, orcs! Oh yeah, like I said, I do not recommend anything I wouldn't read for myself. I already picked up a copy of this because I thought it looked and sounded cool. And, uh... Are you okay over there? Why? What's up? I just keep I keep hearing sound effects, but this is a, a pretty lengthy book for a, a version of Volume One, six hundred and fifty-four pages. So. It's a hefty read, mm -hmm. but given this guy, I'm willing to bet it's a good one. It's just one of those, uh, wow, that's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading no them kind of Unfortunately, things. Unfortunately, I haven't seen a lot. I didn't see a lot of comics that really interested me this week that I haven't already covered or that kind of mm -hmm. are still available. So it's a novel this week. Still, one I would read. I do like a lot of the Iron Age fantasy stuff that they do. They all tend to be pretty good. So, thanks for watching the video. You never know where you're going to find your next favorite read and your next favorite series, which is why I like to do these videos. If you're interested in the book, the link will be down in the description, as well as a link to the full-length episode of Animated, the show I do every Saturday at 6 Central. Feel free to tune in to the live sections of the show, or just catch the clips here on my channel. Anyway... Thanks for your time. Hope you have a good one. Later.